In this episode of Air Gun Quickies, we're going to answer the age-old question, 177 or 22? Keep watching, I'll try to explain it in five minutes. Hi there guys, it's Steve from Airgunology here and we got another Airgun Quickies. Um, today we are going to be talking about the age old Xbox versus PlayStation question, should I go 177, should I go 0.22 with my air rifle? Loads of debates about it all over social media. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, check out the YouTube video descriptions where you see all of our other videos and links to our Facebook group, etc., where you can get a load of answers from our community. But anyway, which one? 177 or 22? Well, I'm not going to give you the perfect answer. There is no perfect answer. It comes down to personal choice. But I'm going to give you some facts here. A 177 pallet is smaller than a 22 pallet. Now, I'm going to make this video mainly towards the UK and other countries that have power limits unless you have a firearm certificate. So those were 12 foot pound or 12, 10 joules, for example, in Sweden. The same amount of energy in the pellet for 177 compared to a 22 is a 177 pellet will be traveling faster. For example, 12 foot pounds, you're looking at around about 800 feet per second, whereas a 22, you're looking at about 600 feet per second. So a 177 pellet travels faster. Because it's traveling faster, its flight path is flatter than a 22, which will be more curved. That's gravity. So as you fire a 22 being heavier, it will dip towards the earth more, which means over distances, you have to lift the rifle up and down to lob the pallet into the target more, more than you have to do with a 177, where you don't have to lift it up and down so much. That's called hold over and hold under. So generally, and I'm using that ver word very carefully, generally a 177 is easier to hit your point of mark over distance than a 2-2 for a beginner because you don't have to move it up and down so much. Hold over and hold under it's called. A 177 pallet requires more air behind it to get to the same energy than a 2-2. That's just physics, it's well known in the air gun industry. That means that with a PCP rifle from the same make, for example, an FX Impact, you will get less shots per fill of your rifle with a 177 than you do with a 2.2. A 177 is smaller, so when it hits its target downrange, it leaves a smaller hole, all things being equal compared to a 2.2. So when you're shooting live quarry, do you want a bigger hole, bigger damage, bigger chances of impact and kill on that live quarry? That's not to say that with a 177 place shot that you can achieve the same effects, but a 2-2 will create more damage. Therefore, on a rat, for example, at 30 meters, a 2-2 pellet will create more damage, more chances of taking that rat out cleanly than a 177 when the shot might just slightly miss your mark. Also, 177 pellets, are smaller, therefore there's less material, and they're cheaper than 2-2 pellets. So there's a lot of things going on here. So let's answer some of the other questions. Will, for example, an FX Impact be cheaper in 177 compared to a 2-2? And the answer is no. The prices of all the air gun manufacturers out there, their 177s and their 2-2s are the same price. Does the 177 rifle weigh less than a 2-2? No, it doesn't. There is minimal difference in there. We're just talking the diameter of the barrel, which is negligible. Is a 177 any more accurate than a 22? No is the proper answer. In the right hands, both are just as accurate as each other. However, remember the shot um, flight path? A 177 doesn't require that much adjustment compared to a 22. Therefore, generally, a 177 in a beginner's hand is more easier to control and therefore easier to hit the center bullseye than a 2-2, especially over distance. But they're both as accurate as each other once you get used to them and you know what you're doing. 
is a 177 affected more by wind than a 2.2 pallet because the 2.2 is heavier, therefore the wind doesn't push it so much. I don't believe that at all. Um, a 177, remember, is traveling faster, therefore it's interacting with the wind over the same distance less amount of time. And to back that up, I'd also say that most of your target shooters, HFT and FT target shooters, use a 177. So if wind was really a problem, why would they use it? Remember also, it's a flatter trajectory. So there's a lot of things going on here. The next question is, what about 2.0? That's the perfect compromise. Well, it is, if you can find them. This is the problem, 2-0 hasn't really taken off in the UK and many other countries. And therefore, your choice is limited, especially in pallets. So it's really difficult to find something like that with a limited choice. So generally, you've got 177 or 2-2. What about 2-5? Well, once you start going higher than 2-2 with limited power restrictions in these countries, then it becomes worse and generally is not recommended to do because we've got massive amounts of hold under and a very slow trajectory. So if you're trying to work out which one to go for, think of all those comments there. There is no straight answer to this, but I'll give you a very rough rule of thumb is you'll generally find that target shooters prefer a 177 for the flattest trajectory, um, faster pellet speed, etc and where the impact hole and the damage it causes at the other end of the range doesn't make so much difference whereas hunters will generally go for the largest caliber they can to cause the maximum damage to try to make sure to ensure a clean kill because not all of us can put the perfect shot in the right place 100 percent of the time even though we should try and going higher than 2.2 is probably too heavy a pellet for sub 12 foot pound so there's basically a rough rule of thumb, but at the end of the day, you will work your own mind out of that. But if you use that, that sort of gives you an idea as to which way you go. Anyway, I would love to know your thoughts and your comments on the 17722 debate. Leave your comments down below in the video description. Please be civil about it. Obviously, this is an Xbox versus PlayStation question. I've probably run over five minutes. But um, like I said, if you're new here, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and give me your thoughts on any other questions you'd like to be answered in Airgun Quickies. Don't forget to visit www.airgonology.com. On there you'll find all of our social media links and forums and 3D printed sections. Facebook group is there for you to discuss anything you want to do with air rifles, air pistols and technology. Our dedicated forum where you can buy and sell anything that you want with regards to air rifles and air pistols. As well as our 3D printed section where you'll find the cradles that you can purchase for the chronographs for FX and the ATM ballistic rangefinders.